Today on the 5 Minute Smack Holographic Fireworks, will they replace regular old fashioned fireworks? We'll talk about that next. Hey everybody, Jeffrey Powers here with the Geek Smack Review where we look at products and we interview and of course we do this new segment called the 5 Minute Smack. Basically, I talk about different products, different things, different ideas that you might be seeing down the road as today where our subject is fireworks. Now you can always contact me, my Twitter handle is Geekazine, geekazine at gmail.com if you'd like to email me and suggest topics for the 5 Minute Smack. You know, it's the 4th of July in the United States, and that means fireworks. Lots of them. In Madison, we actually celebrate with a, with a thing called Rhythm and Booms, which is one of the largest shows in the Midwest. However, there are issues surrounding the event, mainly the cost of the fireworks show. A 45-minute show could cost upwards to $50,000 or more. If you want specialty fireworks, well, that's going to actually even cost you. Add to this the environmental impact of the firework. Uh, a white firework basically consists of 75% potassium nitrate, 15% charcoal, and 10% sulfur, according to the International Atomic Energy Agency. But if you want red, if you want blue, if you want green or yellow or any other color to make it look pretty, you got to do a little bit more. According to IOP Science, to get those colors, we actually need to add radium into the mix. Although the amount of radium is apparently very small, it's still a radioactive material. Along with that, we also have what is called firework snow, which is basically the shrapnel that falls to the ground. Some people can get singed every now and then if they're too close to what they call ground zero in fireworks. Did you know that the amounts of barium can get 500 times higher the day after a fireworks show? And don't think about shooting over a body of water either. Another study by Richard Wilkin of the United States Environmental Protection Agency showed that perchlorate salts of potassium and ammonium enter into the water, which can pose another type of health risk. So what's one to do? Well, uh, what, what if the fireworks were not lethal and could be seen by all? Enter in a holographic firework. Now we've seen Tupac go on stage in the afterlife. Disney actually uses this technique to display other shapes and colors that a conventional firework couldn't even handle. The trick is actually using either water or the smoke from another firework to project the hologram. The problem in these holographic fireworks is somewhat flat, so if you're at the wrong angle, you won't see the image that well. By bending the smoke or bending the water uh, and projecting the images from different angles, the illusion can still be created while people can see it from where they're sitting. Ground fireworks are easier to create because you can e use a mesh screen to project items on, but when the fireworks get launched in the air, that's where we could see the challenge for the hologram. Now we might start to see hybrid firework displays, so images and even video can be shown while the sky lights up with regular conventional fireworks. This can even accentuate the show by flashing holographic fireworks upon the smoke of a real firework, that is if it's not too windy. The holographic firework could now be placed indoors, a football stadium, a rock amphitheater, or other location. Maybe even your local rock bands could start doing pyro shows that they've been banned since about 2003, since the station nightclub fire. Best part is it won't be so toxic. You can light off as many holographic fireworks that you want, the realism of sound basically created through any PA system. The price of the holographic system might be a little bit on the high side right now, but also could be justified by its multiple year use. It could be cheaper in the long run. The less amount of actual fireworks means less pollution in the air and in the water. You could get more out of your $50,000 with a system that can project a firework. The only question you have to ask yourself is, does it matter to you if they're holographic or if they're real? And that's the five minute smack. My name is Jeffrey Powers. You can find me over at Geekazine Think Magazine. Put in a geek Twitter handle, Geekazine. Email address, geekazine at gmail.com. You get the idea. Um, you can always uh, email me. You can always Twitter me and ask a question or suggest topics for the five minute smack. 
Until then, you guys geek out. Have a happy 4th of July, and we'll see you next time on the Geek Smack Review.